Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Leon Nelson Foot YouTube channel, where today I'm going to show you how to do the absolute perfect strategy for Firebase Z, the somewhat new zombies map that I have not recorded any gameplay on yet, which is surprising because I've been playing a shit ton of this game. The best gun in this game, I believe, is the M16. So there's a few attachments that I feel like you need to have in order to get to a high round with the M16. You need the 20.5 task force, which increases your damage by 14%, which is actually really good. Uh, increases the effective damage range and the bullet velocity. And I like to have the hip fire accuracy uh, with the increased salvage drop rate. And besides the salvo 54 round fast mag, that is also incredibly important to have on this gun. Everything else really is just kind of personal preference if you want to sight, if you don't want to sight, that kind of thing. Ring of fire to five, to tier five, because it's incredibly overpowered. And I just re I recommend you guys get this thing to tier five as soon as you possibly can, um, as well as all your perks. Besides Juggernaug, do not, right now there's a glitch with Juggernaug where uh, you, you can't use tier five without killing yourself. So just don't do it, just don't do it. Just keep it at tier four. Before we get started here, I'd like to say what I think about Firebase Z. Do I think it's one of the better zombies maps in in the history of time? Yes, I absolutely love Firebase Z. I think it's better than Die Machine. I think it's better than a lot of maps that exist out there. It's so fun to do. I love the atmosphere. I love the 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 sun. You know, I like to have the sun. That's why I like Shangri-La so much. Is because the goddamn sun is in the map. You know, and it's great. I love that about certain zombies maps when it's actually great you know uh, i stay in the starting room and this map until the end of round three in the beginning of round four i start to uh turn on the pack a punch so let's go ahead and do that building barriers is so underrated dude rebuild barriers hashtag rebuild barriers that's what we want to that's what we want to preach out there to the world i do want to say while we're doing this i'm sorry i didn't upload a minecraft monday um i was incredibly sick for the last few days that's why you can probably tell my voice isn't completely at 100% yet. So there was no video on Monday. I apologize, all right? Uh, next Monday that will resume, so yeah. All right, so we're at the end of round three, I believe. I think this is the last zombie here. Good, we got 5,000 points, which is, that, which is actually really good for these early rounds. I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of the starting room and go to the teleporter. Here we go, we're back into the fire base. Dr. Pecker's gonna speak. So I always go to the left side first, just because, I don't know, I, I feel like going to the left side, to the right. You know, the, it, the order that you turn on the power does not matter. Uh, just do it, do whatever you want in life, okay? Don't let anybody tell you what to do, all right? At this point, I just use every single zombie to turn on the power. Headshots as much as possible. You wanna maximize out your points, just like any other zombies game, obviously. Bam, fantastic. First one done, let's go and move on to the second Aether Reactor. I'm taking this 100 points, this is mine. And here we are. Okay, Aether Reactor, let's go ahead, 500 points. The wonderful thing about this is when, you, when you're done, when, you, when you've collected all the zombie souls, it gives you 1,000 points, which is actually fantastic. For some fucking weird reason, the zombies are really hard to hit when they're hitting the fucking machine. I don't know why. They become fucking head dodgers after that shit. They just fucking bob and weave their goddamn heads. See that, do you see that shit? All right, we got the second one finished. Let's go ahead and move on to the final Aether Reactor. Wonderful. Last Aether Reactor done. I'm going to grab that 100 points. You want to grab points wherever it exists. So underneath every single perk machine, there's 100 points. I'm sure you guys already know that, but if you didn't, there you go. Listen, learn, knowledge has been achieved. Oh, and a wonderful thing, right after you finish the third Aether Reactor, you can grab the blueprint right here for the Ray K. So I like to snatch that up on the, my way out of there. So this is where things kind of get complicated for this strategy, all right? This is where things kind of get, you know, uh, can be a little bit long. Um, but what I do is I run back to Ravenov. You have to go ahead and speak to him. So just make sure that there's one zombie left at the end of round five. I'm gonna run back out to Dr. Peck so I can go ahead and talk to him. And there's gonna be a cutscene that happens and during that, you want to find Sergei's head, if you can. You talk to him, 
And there's two locations over here for Sergey's head and they'll come in, in uh, handy later on in the strategy, which you will see later. Okay, so it's not in this area, so you know that. So go ahead and pick up the weapon trial folder and retrieve the eye. Don't worry about zombies during this period. They won't hit you or anything like that. So while that cutscene's going, you go ahead and get the part and also you can kill the zombies that are in this area that spawn and it gives you extra points, which is just absolutely fantastic. Don't kill the running zombie though, because that is the actual zombie for the round. These extra zombies are not counted towards uh, the actual round. So go ahead and kill the walking zombies. Ooh, that was nice. Bonus points, that helps me out a lot. Before I go back to Rabinov, I'm gonna go ahead and, and scan the eye and uh, get the first part for the Ray K. There's a good chance that we get the Ray K out of the next step we're gonna do, which I'll show you here soon. This strategy is supposed to involve zero RNG, complete skill. You can follow this path in your own game. You don't need luck and any chance at all. So let's go back to Rabinov and talk to him. And while this cutscene is happening, uh, the zombies will actually run away from you. So you can go up to the second floor and stare at this bunny here for a while until you go into the dark aether. So let's go ahead and do that. Wait for this bunny to look at you. Ah. So that cutscene is still going while we're doing this at the same time. So it's just complete efficiency, basically. And what you want to do in this dark aether place is shoot the bunnies, just kind of run in circles and try to find the, the glowing purple bunnies and shoot them. And at the end of this, there's a good chance we can get the Ray K out of the chest that we're going to get. We're going to get a reward for doing this. So let's go ahead and do that. In this chest, there's a good chance you can get the Ray K. So, and I got it. I got the Ray K which is incredibly lucky, by the way. So I got the Ray K and you always get Juggernog out of this box. So never buy Juggernog. All right, never buy it. Just get it from this strategy I, got, I do here. So I'm gonna pick up this key card, pack a punch my M16. Yes, we're getting a lot of salvage, which is really helpful. Okay, perfect. I got one zombie left. What I'm gonna do while I'm here is upgrade my Skull Splitter to common rarity. And I'm not actually gonna buy the first tier of armor yet because there's a good chance we're gonna get a drop uh, from a random zombie somewhere with level one armor. So I never worry about buying that first tier of armor. I mean, at this point, you really just have to save up points. Uh, you just keep killing zombies and save up points, build the Ray K if you can, until you have enough points to fully upgrade your loadout weapon uh, to a legendary. Pack a punch three with um, dead wire. That's what you're gonna want, all right? Best ammo mod to use in this strategy. It's always the dead wire ammo mod. It's incredibly powerful. Uh, they just updated it to where it's basically like a fucking wonder waff. It's absolutely insanely powerful, as you can see here. So at this point, I'm gonna show you exactly where I spend my high rounds at. Um, a lot of people and a lot of bigger YouTubers like to use this spot right here, but I don't find it to be completely efficient. Um, it's still very easy to die in there, um, which obviously you guys don't want to do. So I go over here to the command room, I believe it's called. In this room, you just stand right next to this lamp and all the zombies will actually go in front of you here as well as in front of that hallway. So you have a long line of sight to actually see everything. Oh, we got a little part here, forgot about that. Oops, see, like I said earlier, there's the uh, level one armor that um, I was talking about earlier. See, I got level one armor and I don't even have to spend salvage to get it, which is fantastic. Right, it is round 13 and now we have our first assault wave where we have to defend the Aether Reactor. Uh, my strategy for this is really just like any other, you just protect it, you just kill zombies, it's fairly simple. Um, at this point, you'll have, you know, a, a double pack of punched uh, with a, you know, basically a, a Wonder Waff ammo mod, and uh, I have a Ray K. In a lot of cases, you won't have a Ray K, but in this case, I do, so it's even more so easy. So yeah, I, I recommend not buying any perks. You really don't need any perks or anything like that if you have a strong enough gun, which the M16 is that. So I'm back up in my strat here. I'm gonna stay here until I have enough points to now triple pack my M16. And after I triple pack my M16, I save advanced salvage to upgrade its weapon tier. 
um, all the way up to legendary. After, so after you upgrade your weapon to uh, third pack of punch, that's when I start buying perks. And then after I have all of my perks, that's when I upgrade my Ray K. And by about round 30, you're gonna be completely set up with a fully pack of punch Ray K, all seven perks, uh, fully pack of punch M16 with dead wire on it. And by that point, you'll be pretty much invincible. So I'm just gonna kind of speed my way to that point. At this point, it's gonna cost me exactly 23,500 points to get all of the perks. So I just camp in this area until I have exactly 23,500. And I go back and I buy all of my perks. Okay, it is round 20 and now it is time for our second wave sequence. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's just right here for me at this time, so that's pretty convenient. This one's a little bit harder, but not too much harder, so don't really worry about failing this. A tip I usually have for people that, you know, struggle with the wave sequence is I, I say just use your score streak right away to get rid of the first wave, just to make it easier for yourself. Well, it's getting a little dicey. And boom, there we go. Second wave completed. I have 26,000 points. So this is a perfect time for me to run back to the village and buy all of my perks now. I also have enough points to upgrade my weapon tier damage. So I go ahead and do that. I'm gonna throw a monkey bomb actually, cause I am getting annoyed with all these zombies here. All right, once you have everything purchased, just get out of the area. Oh, I got a nuke. And go back to the strat until you have another 30,000 points or so. And that's when I fully upgrade the, the Ray K. And that's where the end of the strategy really, uh, that's where the strategy really uh, takes off there. Okay, it is now round 27. And I have exactly, almost, almost exactly enough points to completely upgrade the Ray K. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm getting pretty close to being able to do legendary tier M16. So that's also nice. Boom. We have now a fully pack a punch to Ray K, a nearly fully upgraded M16. Okay, I now have over a thousand advanced salvage which means I can fully upgrade now my M16 to its max potential. This M16 could probably carry you by, by itself, carry you to around 100, but uh, I don't really recommend it. It's probably not the greatest strategy of all time, but it can, it probably can bring you up to around 100 for sure. Actually, it could probably bring you up to around infinity with the uh, health cap in this game. You also do want to be picking up monkey bombs while you're doing this. Monkey bombs and C4 are the best equipment to use with this strategy. Okay, it is now round 30 and we have enough advanced salvage to buy us an attack helicopter. So the score streak I do recommend for this strategy is an attack helicopter because you become invulnerable if you get into a tight situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that. So now at this point, you literally, the whole strategy is just to stand here with the M16, fully upgraded, everything like that. Have an attack helicopter ready in case you get into a sticky situation. Have the Ray K ready uh, for the higher rounds. Once we get to like round 43, that's when the health cap happens. That's when we're gonna start wanting to use the Ray K. And this is the exact strategy you're gonna wanna use with that. You just go ahead and shoot the balls of energy and just use the Ray K itself. And since it takes so long for the zombies to actually get to you, um, it's just really easy just to survive with just the Ray K. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this. Boom. You wanna just interchange between the energy ball and just using the regular weapons. When there's a boss zombie around you, you're gonna wanna use the stun slow uh, energy ball there. And yeah, you pretty much just do this for every single regular round, except for one more round, which I will show you guys. And then we're gonna exfil at round 35 and end the video there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think the M16 might be better than the Ray K. All right, it is round 33. And this is the last thing I need to talk about before this video ends. And this is the fight with Orda. What I like to do is wait for a wave of zombies to spawn in and I throw a monkey bomb so that they don't go for the thing right away. 
So the zombies are spawning in. I'm going to throw a monkey bomb, get my death machine up, deploy a ring of fire. Don't use death machine. I changed my mind. Use the M16. Oh yeah. M16 is the way to go for this. So I have order about half health right now. I'm going to throw another monkey bomb so that the, oh God. Oh no. My controller just died. Okay. We're back. We're back. We're back. Don't worry about it. I'm going to continue using the M16. That thing is just, inc the M16 is just so good. It's unbelievable. Don't worry about the zombies uh, breaking that thing because it doesn't actually matter. As long as Orta dies, the whole wave ends. And this is why I recommend using the M16 for this map because it's just so powerful. It'll just, boom. And Orta is dead. So that wave is done and that's how you do it. For another like 30 rounds or so, I think all the way throughout your game, I think it's like every 30 rounds or so, Orta is gonna come back and do another assault wave. So that's just all you have to do. It's gonna be exactly the same for the rest of the game, all the way till whatever round you wanna to get to. What I'm gonna do right now is get to round 35. Well, technically round 36 at Xville. It's round 34, and this is the first time I've had to use fucking Ring of Fire. God damn it, that mangler is always stuck in that corner. All right, it is round 36. This is the, the moment, the time where we exfil. Before we do that, I'm gonna grab an attack uh, helicopter. Boom, attack helicopter achieved. Here we go, I'm gonna start the exfil, run back, and on my way back, I'm gonna refill my armor. The exfil for this map is really easy. There's only 35 zombies, so don't worry about the difficulty of this one. With the M16, it's nothing. I'm not sure why they made the exfil so easy this game, but you know, whatever, I'll take it. All right, all the zombies have been eliminated. It's time to get the fuck out of here. And that concludes the YouTube video for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching this wonderful Leon Nelson Foot video. If this did help you become a better zombies uh, player, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for future videos. I play Minecraft every Monday and Wednesdays. I make uh, random how-to videos whatever I feel like is on my mind, whatever knowledge I want to uh, impart into the world. Uh, we have actually just reached over 100 subscribers. Our goal is to get 1,000, so if we can hit 1,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video that I will produce. The flip, we always cool And half the chicks I hit, they tease me in school I got a baby by a lady, I don't even love a lot Wish I wore three rubbers, kid, the first rubber pop But you can't cry now, milk already spilled I had 11 friends and 10 already killed One down south and they ain't feel the 